I'm Mrs. Roberts from Palm Crest in fifth grade, and I'm going to show you how to find the area of rectangles with fractional side lengths. This is found in chapter seven. Um, a problem that you may encounter is to find the area of, let's say, a bathroom that is 20 square feet. And uh, you're using tiles that are one third of a foot by one third of a foot to cover the entire floor. Um, a question may ask how many tiles are needed to cover one square foot. To represent one square foot, I'll draw a square. Each of these sides is one foot. And the information in the problem would have told you that each tile is one third of a foot. So to represent one third of a foot, I will draw uh, a fractional side length that is one third by one third. Um, and to find out how many tiles are needed to cover one square, I would just count the number of squares that are inside that square foot, which is nine. Um, if a problem were to ask, uh, what is the fraction of the square foot, I'm sorry, what fraction of a square foot is one tile? Um, the fraction of the square foot of one tile would mean one square foot, and that would be one third times one third, which would give me my area, my length times width, which is one ninth <coughs> of a foot square. And um, if a problem were to ask how many tiles are needed to cover the entire floor, I know that one square foot needs nine tiles. So I would start with nine, and this represents one square foot. So if I needed to cover a floor that is 20 square feet, I would multiply by 20 to get 180.